For 10 weeks, 20 RuneScape content creators will be competing for a massive prize. Along the way, they'll face never-before-seen challenges, brutal eliminations, and a couple of twists. Welcome to the Gillinor Games. Welcome back to challenge number seven on the second season of Gillinor Games. We're down to four teams. You are all very close to making it to the final. After last week's performance, we're on cloud nine at the minute. This is a pivotal week because whoever has the apron has most of the power in this week, especially during these last stages as we get towards the finale. So picking up the aprons is a big thing in these last things. And I think we've got the cojones to do it. I thought today would be the day that the big target would be above me and Solomon's head because people are clocking on to our game plan and we've been able to slither our way out of some bannings. I think today was always going to be a tough one for us. I can officially confirm that this season's prize pool is the largest in the history of the game. Ooh, Let's go. Ooh. It's game time, guys. Only four teams remain and I'm feeling pretty good right now. Last week we had a bit of a rocky ride. However, I feel like we're one of the strongest teams remaining. Even though we had a slight hiccup last week, we are ready to win this challenge today. Today's challenge is not only for you guys, but for the viewers as well. You know what's coming. Your challenge is to download and play Frag Pro Shooter. Frag is a super simple game. You have one goal, to destroy the enemy bunker as quickly as possible in a game full of strategy, intense fights, and more. With more than 100 unique characters, all with different abilities, you can create your deck and build your own strategy. Attack, defend, be a wild card, just do whatever you need to do to win. With more than 1 million people playing Frag every day, the action never stops. New characters have joined the roster, Jaeger the Monster Hunter and Kazulu the Monster. With Frag's new Halloween contest, you have a chance to win a Switch. All you have to do is simply recreate the monster's makeup and share your creation. Like me. Hey, I look pretty good. If you like Gilinor Games, a simple download of the game is so incredibly supportive. Using my link below, you can get some free rewards too. A gold chest, 500 coins, 50 diamonds, and a special offer only for you. Let's get to work. Today, you'll need to pray to the RNG gods. The most requested type of challenge last season was something to do with clue scrolls, which is why today's challenge is called Soup's Clues. Each competitor needs to complete four different clue scroll tiers, beginner, easy, medium, and hard. Your goal is to complete the clue scrolls as fast as possible. The team that completes the clues the fastest will win that section of the challenge, but they won't win the aprons. With the money you make from those clue scroll rewards, you'll have to buy supplies and gear to prepare for a free-for-all fight in the fight pits. The player that wins that free-for-all will win today's challenge, receive the golden aprons, and be safe from elimination. I like it because it is completely RNG and Jen does have quite good clue scroll look. It could go either way. No, I'm quite, quite happy with this. It's nice and fair. Clue scrolls are fun and we could win the challenge by getting good RNG, but obviously these PVMers, they do clue scrolls all the time, so they know the best ways of getting places and, and we've did it at the end of the day. We're not done yet. The team that wins the first section of the challenge has an important decision to make. Each team will let me know how much they made from their different tiers of clues. The team that wins the first section can either choose to reroll one of their clue loots and attempt the clue again, or they can make another team reroll their loot. Sabotage another team or give yourself another chance. A pretty big decision. Because I'm a nice host, I've generously given all of you the four clue scrolls already. You can find them in your inventory. Go ahead and gear up to complete those clues as fast as possible. I'll give you guys five minutes to prepare and we'll get started. I already have, like, I would say a big tip is just like go to the next step you know and, and just double check the one you just got to make sure it's not close and if it's not close just go to the next one you're no, you know of I mean, yeah, I'm, I'm doing them completely out of order like just step 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 I don't care when I get the cast good. so the first part of the challenge we had to clue scrolls of four tiers and try and complete them as fast as possible with your team it's a combination of RNG and lots of different aspects together which is really cool fighting RNG speed uh, well I, I've got like my f invent like full of sh like, because uh, imagine if we need an, a mo clue and we have to like bank some of our tellies. I've got the upper hand, I've got Carol's, so. Clue scrolls are fun and we could win the challenge by getting good RNG, but you can get yourself blessed eyed boots or a bloody pith helmet. So let's just hope we roll something good. 
The team that completes all their clues first will win the first section. I wish you all the best RNG possible. Good luck. So today you've got to do four clues as fast as possible. The winning team will get the chance to re-roll some of their clue loot or re-roll someone else's. Let me tell you, every penny in this challenge is going to matter massively. You found a new clue, where is it? Talk to top of the tower east of Barbarian Village. Oh no, that's not the fast way of getting there, is it? Okay, so for my beginner clue, I need something called a strange device. Maybe I have that in the bag, I don't know. But I'm doing my hard clue first. Why do I gotta get a strange device? Is it actually hot and cold? On a beginner clue, are you mad? I've never done that before. What shit, why is that on a beginner? I've never even done a beginner before. Obviously I do the beginner first, just get that out of the way, and I get a hot and cold clue. I've never done one for a beginner before in my life, so I sort of kept that on the back burner. East side of Barbarian Village, where on earth is that? Towards a Hunrig? Who the f is Hunrig? Oh, I never even knew this was a building, I'll be honest. I got casket, I got casket, I got casket. On five on, step? On fourth, fourth step. Holy sh that's lucky. Yeah. Nice. My hard clue was so lucky because it was only four steps. There was no wilderness, nothing about having certain items within the moat. It was all just go to this place and there was like one Sarah wizard and one, I think one Zami wizard. So it was pretty quick. I got a casket, hard right, clue. Nice, nice, nice. Let's say one person gets a four step clue and the other person gets a six step and these those two steps are like additional wilderness steps. It takes so much time. You can probably do all the other tiers in the time you spend doing those two last hard clue steps almost. So yeah, it's just really depending on how many steps of each clue tier you get. Okay, I've got two caskets, filed our party room. Lad, I've done, I've done two here. Okay, we have a good chance. I have another, I have another, I have another casket. Bro, they gave me a puzzle, dude. Like, this sh mad slow, I'm not gonna lie. What do you mean? There's a, there's a helper that tells you what to do. Yes, 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 yes. Three step medium. Let's go. Yes, I believe in you. All right, we, I should be fine now. Okay, I got the hard casket. Okay, okay, okay. I've had bad RNG, bro. Trust me, these hard clues have been long. Yeah, 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 yeah. Trust me, bro. I'm doing it as quick as I can. Trust me. I'm never trust me. taking those words seriously ever again. Oi, bro. Dude, trust me. I'm a competitor. I, I, I live to compete. My plan, I opened up all my clue scrolls. Whenever I did a clue, I clicked on it, and I thought about what I would need to do to get there while going and doing one of the other clues. I was doing multiple clues at once. The less time I spent thinking about how I was going to get to a clue step, the better. I should already have a plan, and we're on to the next step, the next step, the next step. No particular order, just smashing out steps. Where is the Iron Dagger? There it is. Okay, good. Right, we're in the worldy boys. I've got no f food, but whatever. <laughs> I'm risking all my caskets. Oh, no! Oh, I fucked it. Shit. What am I doing? I've teleported all the way into the deep wilderness and you can't teleport out in 43 wilderness. I have to run all the way to the obelisk and get back down to get my flipping emote items. I forgot them. Time is of the essence and I am absolutely squandering it right now. I have to go to like my I steps got three, are- I got three caskets. Oh my God, this is so good. Wow, dude, you're wow. beating through that shit. I've got three caskets, now I'm doing the hard. Grotto. Oh, come on, why? Just swim over there, you donkey. Oh, just f***ing swim over there, man. If I fail this... Oh my f God, how the f*** do you fail this three times in a row? You're competing with f***, so I've got 99 agility, rat dogs. Oh, I failed! How do you fail four times in a row? On the simplest... A f***ing stepping f***ing stone! Just call it a falling f***ing stone.
the hot two's done. Four caskets, four caskets, four caskets. Let's go. Easy. Okay, you got this. I believe in you. All right, cool. All the clues went really well. You know, all pretty quick steps. I was the first one to teleport in, and I got it done quick as I could. Okay, this is another chance to finish again. Oh, I finished. Yeah, nice. Wait, what have you left? What have you left? Lumbridge. Oh, Zili's already here. I was like, the... come on, you can win. At last, I got troll on the beginning clue, which. You got this. You got this. All right. <laughs> now I run to the mine and I should be done. Uh, no. I have easy and medium still. <laughs> Jason the Vamp trying to distract them. Wait, what? F off solo mission. Do you have another, you have another duel, Tully? Yeah, I do. He's okay, following we, me. We should, we, should, we should be first, then. We should be first. Okay, I, I've done. I, I'm done. I'm done. Yo. Okay. Yo, Zulu's only here. I'm second. I was fairly confident that Verf was going to get here before any team finished, but when I saw multiple teams teleporting in, I was a little nervous. It's yes, 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 yes. Okay, I'm trading. Soup, where's okay, soup? Go, go, go. Trade, 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 trade. He's right next to me. Go, 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 go. Beat, beat Chili. Chili's not here yet. There yes, we go. Sir. We won. Done. We won. Yes. Done. Easy. This is really big for us because it can give us a redemption if we don't get very good loot, or if somebody gets outstanding loot in one tier, we can knock a team down a peg by making them redo their clue. Easy. Nice job. There we go. Right. We were the first team, right? Yes, we get yep. to choose. Zulu and Verf, congratulations. You were the fastest team to complete all your clue scrolls. You'll have a big decision to make after everyone opens their caskets. Let's get these bad boys open. Solo and Guns Chili, go ahead and get us started. All right, come on. All right, nice. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. 1.3k. 1.3k. Yeah, from the beginning. Oh, oh <laughs> hell yeah. <laughs> Bro, we're falling. That's insane. That's good. Okay, okay. Come on. Oh, that was oh, kind of nice, nice. Oh, come on, right. I just want some, like... Dude, if I get the high boots on this, I'm going to be fuming because my iron one is it. <laughs> Watch, the iron boots. Jack. Oh! Come oh. <laughs> 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 on, just give us some f***ing That's pretty lucky. That's not Sweet. bad for an easy. Okay. What? Oh, come on. Oh, no, no, no. No, no, no. No, no, no. What the f Around Gil and all, they actually call me the Clue King, believe it or not. I mean, I've had three pairs of Rangers in 28 Clues. I'm a f***ing absolute god when it comes to meeting Clues. Mine and Dave's RNG is pretty good when it comes to Clue Scrolls. I've had third days before, you name it, I've had it. So th this was this was our kind of challenge. Oh. <laughs> hey! hey. <laughs> oh my god. I feel bad. <laughs> oh my oh god. god. Oh my wow. god. Yeah, it's like, oh, go on, here we go. Heart. Right, Ranger Boots, now you ready? Ranger Boot King. Yep, yep, go on. Oh, oh. <laughs> Sold the green. Those were green. It's not Those the right green. type of green. No. Here we go. Here we go, yeah, Jeff. If he Come gets on. something bad, it. Fire lighters. Yeah. Oh my god. Oh my god. That's terrible. That's terrible. Oh, oh, my God. God. Oh, no. nice start nice start oh no oh my god here we oh go big short throw oh my god oh, 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 we're not too long in this fucking full bronze oh my god oh my I think I came out with a 60k which wasn't ideal but I thought our gem will do better he halved it. He literally, we walked in with 30,000 coins to his name and 60,000 to my name. Like, if we're lucky, we can buy, we can, well, we got nothing. We, can, we can't buy anything. <laughs> Honestly, we could have killed chickens for an hour and we would have got better loot. I swear to God, I pull out about 30K. Dave struggles to pull out about 60K. So in total, we've got about 90K to work with. We're in the bin already. And I know we're not the best at PvP at the best of times with an advantage. Never mind with a massive disadvantage. We're going to be going into the fight with full bronze and a bloody Addy 2H at this rate. Come on, bro. I'm, pr I'm praying to Zaros on this one. Yeah. Yeah. All right, there, please. 360. Oh, okay, okay. okay. <laughs> Oh, oh no. no. Come on, give me rangers. It's a please. What, what the fuck is this? Oh, Swamp Fennec. Yo, that's a. Uh, 
Oh, okay. Nice. 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 <laughs> nice. Bro. Nice. Okay, That's not that bad. That's oh, 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 that used to be like a oh, mill. Wow. Oh, it's because oh, of the purple speed. RNG. It's because of the purple speed. There we go. <laughs> Oh, oh my god. god. Wow. It's a, it's a purple oh, tree. Oh my Everyone. god. Everyone was like opening the clues one by one and it started like really bad. And I thought, surely some of these people is gonna get something good because we all have pure shit, So someone is gonna get something and then it just didn't happen. Hey! Nice. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. We're all gonna get jack shit. Okay, oh, that's, hey, that's oh, not bad I for me. I thought it was something else, but I guess it wasn't. I thought it was okay. Iron Range Boots. Let's get go. Range Boots right now. Range Boots right now. Range Boots right now. Oh, oh no. no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Okay, okay, okay. No worry. No, it's going to be. Be hide boots. This is going to be the third age play body. Come on. Uh, that's not that bad. bad. That's not that bad. That's such a great reason. Okay, I'm going. I believe. Okay. Nice. <laughs> okay. Like, what can you even get off a of beginner? Oh no! Oh, oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. I'm sure. Okay, hit. Oh, 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 okay. Decent. Okay. Wow. Oh, oh, that, oh, that, that, like like okay. that looks. Like, that looks price like a lot that. more. Wait, price check that. All right, Zulu and Verf. You now get to decide whether you want to re-roll one of your own loots or make another team re-roll one of theirs. What's it gonna be? Knowing the second portion is PvP related and seeing Ditter and Torvesta get the absolute best loot out of everybody, kind of disappointing, upsetting, concerning, drove fear into my heart. And uh, at that point we had to decide, do we want a second chance or do we want to knock them down? We made our decision. We will re-roll or hard clue tier. Both. Our own hearts. Oh. Yeah. Oh, sh we knew that if we knocked them down and made them redo their clue, they could still get pretty good loot in a tier. And even if they don't, they have the backup of the other tier. So we decided we would give ourselves a second chance and do another hard clue. A hard clue re-roll it is. Let's hope it's worth it. All right, yeah. everyone watching? Good luck. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Oh. I think we're still have less than Torvesta and Dinner. Probably. Nah, Congrats on the boy, pirates have the Bodhi would be happy with it. Gonna roll my Come on, please! Be more than 52 k Come on, please! Get something bad, get something bad, get something bad. Get something 200k, bad. No. let's go! 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 Let's go!
and brainstormed through what we could do and what we should do. And we figured that energy was actually quite important. And I don't think any of the other teams considered that. So instead of buying Staminas, which are very expensive, we actually bought Summer Pies because they had gone down in price quite a lot over the past few months. Half of our inventory was full of Summer Pies and we used it to kite around the room. We just bolt ragged basically. We had just over 100K and we started racking our brains for items which could really save us money because once you've bought your food and potions, there is really not a lot left over so we're not buying a super restore we're buying a regular restore to heal ourselves from our bruise we're buying ranging potions and we come in with a master plan we're going to be bringing poison bolts and we're also going to be bringing anti-poison over the course of this fight poison will do so much damage and hopefully we get an advantage from that the last man standing in the fight pits wins today's challenge and wins the golden aprons for your team good luck guys Right, we're gonna be teaming with Verf, by the way. Basically, I think if we don't win, we're guaranteed to get aproned in anyway. I think we just have to try and play for the win. Us and Zuli Verf are gonna pile Deer and Torvester, I think, because they've got the best chance of winning at the moment. The way I see this final fight is there's the young savages. Three teams aligned, and then there's Zulu and Verf who have good gear. If we were to just go in a three-way team and kill Zulu and Verf, it would be a Royal Rumble, and our gear is absolutely terrible. And I'm pretty convinced we will be next on the chopping block for those other teams in the Young Savages. So, Zulu and Viv, feeling a bit lonely out there. Gonna reach out to them and say, we are gonna go for Ditter and Torvesta, as they are the best PVPers in this challenge. If we can turn this into a 4v4 matchup, then hopefully what's left of the Young Savages will attack Zulu and Viv because of the better gear, and then we will attack Ditter and Torvesta. And then potentially we could get ourselves in a situation where we are fighting Tanzu and Vitoso to take home his crown, and they have terrible gear, so I would like our chances there. Hoping here that Solo Mission doesn't snake us again, we decide to reach out to him because we know that Ditter and Torvesta are a duo to be feared. We tell them, hey, let's knock out Ditter and Torvesta and then worry about the rest. The plan is to snake Solo, but without him knowing that we're going to snake him. So we need to win this fight pit. So we take out Zulu and Verf first, and then hopefully we come out on top. Everyone votes for Zulu and Verf, they go in the banning. And then we have no choice but to apron one of the Young Savages members. So we just have to say, I'm sorry Solo, but we have to apron one of you. Okay. Yep, yep, yep. Hey, tank, there you go on you. Oh, I, I poisoned, I poisoned. Go for Zulu. Go They're for Zulu. For us. They're coming for us. All on I'm Zulu. Going for a DDS. Right, your DDS right, here we go. There's Zulu. Where is he? Zulu. Here we go. On the turn, on the turn. Okay, let's see what happens here with Solo Mission. I'm interested to see who they hit. They're hitting us, they're hitting us. Okay, hit solo mission. Piles Zulu. Nah, hit solo, hit solo, hit solo, hit solo. He snaked us, he snaked us, he snaked us. This right here is the end of our three-way Young Savage Alliance. And it's a day that's been coming for so long. We don't need allies next week if we make it through this three teams. We have the winners and then we just have the two that go into the banning. No allies are needed. We do what we need to do to survive. And this is our only way to win this challenge. We've got to mess things up, we've got to shake things up. And we are going to be flying straight straight in and bolting get a bitter straight away. All of a sudden, Solo Mission turns and gets on Ditter. Ditter's piping up. It's all kicking off. It's all going down. He sneaked us. Hit Solo. Okay, Hit Solo. Solo. Come Solo. southwest. Hit Solo. All get Solo. Uh, I'm getting attacked. As soon as the fight starts, instantly Solo Mission starts attacking me. Zulu and Verf attacking me. Guns Chili attacking me. So now it's a 4v4 scenario. It's not a free-for-all. You know, Tanzu and Vertoso, they're my boys, but they're in MSBs and no amulets, you know what I mean? So... Just don't I'm get killed. up, bro. I'm not gonna lie. Oh my god, you gotta be kidding me. Yeah, they're, they're, trying, to, they're trying to target me right now, so... Just... Dude, look! Look at the poison! Yeah, they... they, they um... I poisoned them both! Okay, yeah. I, it I worked! Got it. I got it. Where's the Mary though? Mary needs to die. Watch out, watch out. Don't die. Yeah, yeah. Everyone's attacking me. Even Zulu and. Uh, no, Zulu. No, it's Tanzu and so, so. Uh, Poison people, by the way. Just bolt, bolt around the people. Tell you what, whoever's bought a stamina has got a fucking big brain. Yeah, not me. I don't even think my DDS is hit yet. Solar Mission says you need to poison both Torvesta and Ditter. 
So I equipped my emerald bolts and I started shooting. And I think we're pretty lucky that he didn't say anything worse. I think he just spammed his keyboard in shock. I, I really did not think that they expected us to, to attack them. I knew it, bro. I knew he was going to rat us out. We need to hit harder on him. Come on, please, bro, please. I actually have really low food, bro. I've only got four food left. Yeah, I'm just bull dragging him. Oh, smart. Go around. I'll turn to him and say so I run sick. These guys are so dumb, bro. I knew what he's gonna do. He still ended up doing it. Fair play to the man. Fair play to the man. I'm dead. I'm dead. Nice, it's dead, it's dead, it's dead, it's dead, it's dead. It's dead. Who now? Torvester, I guess. Yeah. Those summer pies are coming in so clutch right now. My run energy is replenishing. And then I see Tanzu and Vitoso. They're walking with a DDS up. They're not hitting me. This is incredible. If I can just weasel my way out of tanking right now, we will have a much better chance. They might have brought stamina just to run around because they knew this is what they're going to do. Like, Solo still has run. Just stay on Solo, I guess. I knew he's going to snake us, bro. They've run out of run as well. He has summer pies. To be fair, it's absolutely genius. I can't believe it. Like me and Dita in the first ever banning, we had the strategy of stamina potions so we could just run about and we forgot. And that's what cost us. I'm just waiting to get some runs so I can run up. Yeah. Make sure you're potted, by the way. Yeah, I'm potted. I'm just spray flicking as well. Uh, put bolts into tons of potatoes as well. I have done. Oh. Okay, Zulu's actually getting f***ed up, not gonna lie. Dude, solo mission's hitting Zulu now. He's definitely up to something. Yeah, pile Zulu, pile Zulu, pile Zulu, pile Zulu. He's still alive. Yeah, I'm still alive, I'm still alive. Kill Zulu, kill Zulu. Yo, yo, Tom, yeah. Tom just, Tom just, uh, sort they, of traded on they're me. They're backstabbing, they're backstabbing. Yep, 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 yep. yep. Backstabbing, so we just get, stay on Travesta, stay on Travesta. Yeah, yeah. You gotta stay alive, Alex. Just try and run away, because we don't want to be the first to die. Yeah, I'm gonna die, 100%. Dude, those f***ing rats, bro. We may as well st sit on Solo's gonna be no, the lad, food. We're not doing any damage to him. I know, but we're not gonna give any damage to anyone else. Man, we he got fucking... stamina is, he's gonna do that for the entire thing. I knew we were in deep trouble. The issue is, is obviously they were focusing Torvester and Ditter, but if they were the first teams to go, they'd get the extra vote. It was a shit situation, so straight after that, we knew we were in the thick of it. I am f***ing up Tanzu right now. Stay on Zulu, stay on Zulu. I'm just getting free damage on people right now. I managed to trade Solo some food because he was completely out pretty early on and I was untouched. They piled him instead of me. Luckily, I managed to get a good trade in. Trade me food, trade me food, trade me food. Trade me, trade me, trade me, trade me, trade me. Cheers. <laughs> what a strat. I've almost got a spec here. You could go down, you could go, you could go. He's, he's out of food, he's out. But then I notice a certain chili is attacking me and I realize I've been duped and that we should have gone for one of each of their teams. A little bit too late, I notice this. I fall pretty early. I might I might die right here. Like I'm probably about to die here. Wait, that's, they, then we're gonna lose. Then we are. You, you just you just need to you need to kill some of them. Oh, no, 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 get on Vef, get on Vef, get on Vef. Time to invitation got shite gear. Oh my god, the bats. Yeah, they're gonna sit for her, they're gonna sit for her. So the fight pit is interesting because the longer you stay in, monsters start spawning. Now, here come the Tuz Kit, the bats, the most annoying NPC in the game. Now, they're gonna be nibbling away at your prayer points. Every hit, you're losing prayer. So time is of the essence to try and kill the other people before our prayer runs out because we are so low. We brought no coins into this battle. We don't have many prayer pots. I need to f***ing kite him here, lad. Need to... He's gonna kill me. Keep going. Dad. <sighs> Wait. Is like... okay, right, now about, right now it's about survival. Yeah, I but think... we, they, it's three against one, dude. This, I can survive this. It's, it's over. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So everyone's kind of just shooting each other. I knew that Tenzu and Fritoso had like the least gear and probably the least amount of food. So I kind of started killing them. I mean, you could do, but I'm dead here. Yeah, I'm dead. For f sake. Yeah, Verf, okay, on Verf, on Verf, on Verf, on Verf, on Verf. I'm gonna drag him into the bats. Come into the bats, come into the bats. Tom is just trying to not get hit right now. Like, I think. Yeah, I would, dude, I would totally just keep, keep this up, keep this up. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna die, I'm gonna die. But you, you just gotta keep ragging him. I think you've got more food. I think, I think you've got more food. I just gotta hope that I hit through his prayer. Dude, I think he has no food. Like, Maybe. I think you're right. 
I think yeah, you're yeah, right. Yeah. Like, I think you traded to Tom. Okay. Oh my God! Yes. I've gone down, but I believe in my boy. Chili, he's going to do it. He hasn't been bolted the entire time. He has the food, I hope. I really hope because Burf has the prayer. And these level 90 rangers have spawned and they are about to mess everything up. Come on, Tom. You've got this, brother. You need to get, you need to get into the corner. You can't let these things hit you. He's going he's gonna to run away from you. And once you get away from him, out of- He has no prayer. Come on, I need to hit. I have no food. Oh, wait, the, the rangers are here. I should think this is so should good. I run, should I run? Let's see. If, I yeah, southwest. Come southwest. Come southwest. Come southwest. Oh my god. So oh, my dish is stands. But he's not praying. He doesn't have prayer. I know, he's but. Out of prayer. It was actually really close towards the end. I still had some food left, but I'd run out of prayer, and he still had prayer. So it could have gone either way. Ah. Oh, man. Constant sorrow. In trouble. Come on. Oh man. This could, this could be our apron, dude. He's tanking hard, but he's. he's I know. Wow, how is he not taking great. damage? I don't know. This, that's just luck. That's just pure luck. Just keep, keep attacking. I'm. Dude. I did a lot of damage because he didn't have range for attack, so he started eating, but he had a lot of food. Like, I noticed this could be bad because he might just have, like, almost full inventory. And I came into the fight with barely anything. He's out of prayer. He's, he's out of prayer. Yes. yes! Come oh on! Oh, that was so good. Oh that was so fing well done. Well done, man. Yeah. That was sick. Congrats, bro. Oh my god, that was legendary. Burns down, and we've won. We've got the golden aprons back. That was the plan for today. I am so happy, and I celebrated that like I just won the World Cup final. Oh, we f smashed that. I was getting piled by the f***ing whole map at the start, bro. It was definitely the dirtiest golden apron I've ever earned. That was amazing. Incredibly intense fight at the end between Guns Chili and Verf, but ultimately, Solo and Guns Chili, you guys came out on top and are officially the first team to win your second Golden Aprons. Come on up. Ooh. Don't even say anything. <laughs> <laughs> the the Rangers. Like How did you not take a single f damage from the Rangers? <laughs> the, the Rangers were all hitting zero. Five, seven uh, on you. Everyone is going wild. They're like, what are you doing? You betrayed us, etc. etc. Acting like these guys wouldn't have just put us in the banning if they won. Like, come on now. You think I was born yesterday? Worst case scenario, it's an absolute disaster. The atmosphere was was toxic. You know, you've got a little bit of going back and forth, bit a bit of not happy. It puts us in a really bad spot at this point, and it's our own fault because we should have pulled the trigger last week, but we were too nice. Me and Dave were too nice. We should have put Solar Mission in the banning last week when we had the Golden Aprons, and you don't win the Gillenor games by being nice. Usually, everyone else would head to the Cove and cast their vote for which team they want to send into the banning. But today, that's not happening. Today, a team is coming back. Jimmy and Settled, it's great to see you guys. What? What the oh, no. just happened? <laughs> they just did that. Oh, so low, mate. You're being a bit sweaty. Oh, Are you feeling so low, you rat? When Settled and Jimmy walked out from under soup, that was mind blowing. I was so shocked, and the timing was just impeccable. Back from the dead from last week are Settled and Jimmy, the people who we put into the banning. It was a nice surprise, but then I thought, Shit. We voted them out, so if they win this, then they're gonna vote us out. Last week, the eliminated teams competed versus one another in the Redemption Falls Gauntlet Challenge for a chance to get back into the main game. And Jimmy and Settled came out on top in the final one versus Eviescape and Skiddler. So today, they've earned themselves a spot in the banning for a chance to get back into the main game. Jimmy and I are back, baby. We've got a real chance here. All we have to do is win the elimination challenge and we actually have a chance to get back into the game. Just to let you guys know what's happened while you've been gone, Solo Mission has been snaking people. <laughs> Everyone, he <laughs> snakes everyone. Yeah, but Luke is wearing the yeah. golden apron, okay? This is a game, isn't it? You gotta play it. Yep. I do not believe it. How has a team come back from the dead? We've just severed all of our ties today. We've got rid of all our alliances. Everyone hates us right now. What do you mean? There's a new team back in. Oh my days. Of course it happens right now. This is terrible. We weren't happy about this. Me and Solo were, were not too pleased because Jimmy and Settled are actually, we were really scared of them towards the end. Just before they got eliminated, we, we started noticing how good they were. We were pretty nervous about either of them coming back. Solo and Guns Chili, which team will you be sending into the banning versus Jimmy 
and settled. Alliances are nothing for us right now. We have absolutely no trust rating. In every banning going forward, I anticipate that we're going to be in the bottom too. So the decision is we're going to send home who we think is the strongest team on the basis that we feel like everyone hates us in this competition and no matter <laughs> who wins going forward, we're probably going to be in the bottom too. We're just going to vote for who we think is the strongest team remaining and that is... Verf and Zulu. Congratulations! Oh, 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 what? Verf and Zulu, second banning of the season for you guys. You have been chosen. Come on up. He said that he fears us, that we are the strongest team left. And you know what? He might be right. This is going to be good. If we do a PVM challenge, we'd be competing against Verf and Zulu, I would imagine. So Verf and Zulu are going to be our vote for the banning. Today's elimination is called Jack of All Trades. Your goal is to get an XP drop in every skill as fast as possible. You're allowed to buy equipment from the GE, but you're not allowed to buy supplies. For example, you can buy a chisel, but you can't buy a gem. You can buy a knife, but you can't buy logs. The team that gets an XP drop in every skill the fastest will win the elimination and stay in the game. The loser is permanently eliminated with no chance of redemption. I'll give you guys five minutes to prepare and we'll get started. This XP challenge is kind of tricky. It really comes down to how efficient your game plan is for finding XP clusters, coining the phrase now, to gain XP and as many skills as possible in the same spaces. I think this can really come down to the wire off of every decision for every singular skill. Every decision counts. I feel like we were confident in the sense of, you know, we had that kind of morale of being back and being the guys that made it back. So yeah, we had some confidence there. This is something that I feel like I can do pretty well. I like planning stuff out. Burf has done several challenges similar to this or just unique challenges. I think with, with proper planning, we can do this. Very, very interesting challenge. I, when I heard that, I was I was kind of like cheering, like, oh, I, I love this stuff. The first team to get an XP drop in every skill will win the banning and stay in the game. Loser goes home. On go. Three, two, one, go. I decided to split the skills up to where I'm doing all of the combats and then about five or six skills on top of that. And Verf is doing a lot of the slower skills. He has nine skills, I have 13. We have Hunter as the final skill, depending on who finishes their nine or 13 first. And then we both meet up at the duel arena after. In my head, I'm thinking starting with your resource skills, like gathering skills, and then going to your artisan skills or whatever, getting supplies, making stuff with that supplies, and then using that supplies for the most efficient route. And that's hard. That's a hard thing to, to do. I came up with the Karamja shops because they have a lot of good items in the shops. And since we weren't allowed to like buy a, a bar to Smith, I came up with like running to the general store to buy a bronze bar, running to the fishing shop, which is like right next to it, to buy feathers to, to fish. Like it was all really close to each other. And I think that was really important. I got, I got my um, sapphire. There's no way I burn a lobster on a fire at 99, right? No, no. Okay, okay. We knew we could win this one. Like, this is something that we can take home. Got matched up against Verf and Zulu. Honestly, very strong team. I think they're probably the most well-rounded team out of everyone remaining. God, I wasted too much time. I might Vero teleport on the wrong spot. I 
I'm going extremely fast right now. I'm almost done. Good, good, good. Okay, I'm gonna go to Taiwan. Okay. Okay. Wait, I've um, I already got smithing. Oh, you did? Yeah. I oh, super what can it. I do? Um, what can I? Ballad or Telly by the back plant and plant it. In my house? Yeah. It, what do I need for that? Just Ballad or Telly. You need a watering can. Uh, I'm almost trio, done. I, okay, I'm trio teleporting to clean moss, and then all I have to do is the back plant, and you can do you can do uh, hunter. I'll, I'll I'll do hunter because I'm about to do room crafting and then uh, pickpocket. Okay, I'm gonna do park back plant, and then uh, that's all I have to. Craft room. Bumper shell port. And pickpocketed. Pickpocketed him now. House teleport. Where's the bag plant guy? Oh. Uh, Falador, it's the like yeah, farm guy. Park guy, right? Yeah. Okay. Uh, I hope I have. Okay. If you can still do it in time, I would because okay. I don't have a f Okay, okay, okay. Watering can. I don't think I've ever even planted a bagged plant in my house before. I couldn't help him with that last one. So, the bagged plant. F that thing. Yeah, I'm buying a back plant. AKQ. I'm running to it. It's almost there. I caught it. I caught the butterfly. I'm done. Yep. 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 I traded him. Just go to soup now. Yeah. I'm almost done. Hurry. Back plant, right? Yep. Make Trade it. Soup. Okay. I am teleporting right now. I didn't miss a single step. Got it done quickly. Murph was right behind me. He was finishing up construction whenever I had finished getting the ruby harvest. It was pretty much a shoe in. And we win. And we win. Yep, yep I, think I think so. so. Nice. Do I do nice, 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 nice. We were like, we were so happy. I was so happy because mostly because I just loved this challenge so much. I was just so hyped. I wasn't even thinking about this, the whole Gillenor Games thing. I was just so focused on this challenge and just nailing it. And then winning it is after that is just great. I think me and Zulu had really great teamwork with this challenge. Yeah, we were really happy. Trade soup, trade soup. Got him, got him, got him. Are they, how high? They've already been here? How the f Damn. did they do that so quick? How, how how long have they been here? They were here when I got here. What? No what the way. No way. We did that so quick. I was absolutely shocked when I saw them there before us. I, I really thought we had like the perfect game plan. All these things that I thought were really outside the box, they did those exact things. And it really just came down to one or two more efficient ways of doing these out of the box methods for XP that ended up making the difference. Verf and Zulu win their second banning of the season and stay in the game. Congratulations, you guys. It sucks to see my fellow NA have a chance to return, but then have that chance be squashed. And not only that, but to be the one to take them out. You know, if it was any other team that went to the banning today, I think that we would have Settled and Jimmy back. Jimmy and Settled, what a wave of emotions for you guys. So many ups and downs, but I don't think anyone can deny you guys were an absolute highlight this season and have definitely proven yourselves as great competitors. I hope I proved that I'm not as dumb as Kevin painted me to be. I might not be good still. I might not be a very good player in general, but I made it this far, baby, and you can't tell me shit. I have a golden apron in my name. Feel like it might be ours next time. I don't know. I'll sleep on it. I'll get back to you next season, <laughs> whenever that happens. We'll be back. We'll be back. So many emotions running through me. I feel like we could have done better, but I'm definitely not disappointed. I think Jimmy and I showed up. We showed we can play video games, and I freaking love that guy. We showed up every single week, and we came to play, damn it. That's exactly what we did. I wouldn't change a thing. Passing the torch on to Verf and Zulu. I hope they take it home. This time, you guys have been permanently banned. Take care. Well, I guess we're back to where we started, but I've got to say, I can feel the hostility in the air at the moment. I'm sure next week, things might get a bit crazy. What's different? We all know Solo is a snake. Me and Joe want Zulu gone. And the only alliance that stands is me, Potoso, Ditter, Bitter, and Torvesto. We're still strong. We're going to be in final together. But the other rats are going back to the sewer where they belong. I'm actually pretty happy because Solo snaked Verf and Zulu, who were meant to be allied. 
we have a bit of power now because we can message Zula and Ver. They're going to want to get their own back against Sola. So I think it's everyone against Sola, if I'm being quite honest with you. You guys have a big task ahead. See you next week. Things have changed. Maybe a little bit today. Everyone thinks we're snakes, but I said it at the start. Everyone's just going to vote us in the banning anyway if we don't win the Golden Aprons ourselves. So realistically, I don't think this actually changes that much for our team. Our cards are just well and truly on the table. Everyone probably thinks Solo is like the absolute Don and that he's got everyone on strings. Let me tell you, we've seen this coming from day f***ing dot and he will not win the Gillinor games.